Okay, so I've just got to mention this real quick. I, I saw this movie with my dad yesterday, uh, and it is so unbelievably bad that I have to warn you not to go see this. I feel like it's my duty as a human being to tell people not to go see this movie. Unless what you want to see is a two-hour plot hole, because that is basically the movie. And to be honest, it's, it wasn't even, if you can get past the fact that the story was written as it went, that none of it act factually makes any sense at all, that they contradict themselves throughout the movie, that the whole movie's based upon gravity, and as the, spoiler alert, by the way, as the moon is falling upon the earth, and they literally named it Moonfall because that's how smart their creativity level with this is, it's pulling the tides and all of that. It's literally sucking the air off of the planet as the moon is getting closer. It's literally sucking the air out of people's lungs and they're dying. And there's this giant, awesome CGI rolling moon that's just rolling over the air. I mean, it's like you, a seven foot, foot tall person would have their head removed with how close this moon is, okay? And somehow, Everyone stays alive, by the way, except the only person who needed to die, which was the the new husband, so that the love interest and the main protagonist could get back together. It 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 was the amount of plahos in this movie. Let me put it this way: the entire premise of this movie is that the moon is literally out of orbit and is going to run onto the planet. It's going to hit the earth and destroy the earth. And as it's getting closer to the earth, okay, it's raising water. And they go, because obviously tides are a thing, and they go way out of their way. I mean, way out of their way to explain why the math, it's literally the, why the math works and why the math of the orbit is that way. They go way out of their way to explain that, okay, and why it's changing the gravity. And nowhere in the entire movie does anyone even mention the sun? Because the we're orbiting around the sun, but the moon throwing everything out of whack just somehow doesn't adjust the Earth's orbit. But the entire point is that the moon's orbit is off by like just a hair. And so therefore the whole planet's gonna collide. And because everything's so perfect with the Earth's orbit, so it's so perfect that even if it's just off by a little bit, the whole thing is just being destroyed. Okay, but then they never mention the Earth orbiting the sun even once. It's like the sun doesn't even exist because for the whole movie, you just see the moon. I wish I could say the stupidity into there. They have this scene where like Manhattan's being destroyed by like waves that this planet in recorded human history we've never seen. But then when the wave gets to, and by the way, this wave's carrying like yachts and stuff because it's destruction porn. But then when the actual wave gets to where they are, the guy can't swim and everyone's cheering, oh, hurry, the water, it's filling the building. But the water stops at like the second step just conveniently for him to swim and carry the guy and then they stop and breathe on the like third step. Like meanwhile, all of Manhattan is just gone, but they're just chilling on like the third step because that makes sense. And the moon literally falls apart. There is the whole outside of the moon gets shed and falls onto the earth and People are just fine. I mean, people are just fine. The humanity is still there. Like 90% of everyone's fine. And during all of this, they still have cell phone service somehow, including satellite phones. Like satellites are still in orbit after the Earth in the Earth's Mount Kilimanjaro literally gets destroyed by touching the moon. The satellites are still in orbit. Uh, this movie was like a 2 out of 10.